start doing clinical checking, we need to know the reason for, for uh, of admission of this patient, why this patient is in hospital in the first place. Is that right? Yes. So, you guys are making me feel sleepy. Uh, I need a big yes. 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 That's it. So, um, it's okay to check patients uh, with regular medication, uh, admitted with condition investigations. So this point is very important. So I want your attention very, 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 if you can give me attention. Is that, is that okay? Yes, yes. Patients are admitted with the current medication. I talked about medicine reconciliation, that we need to put all the medication the patient normally takes on the drug chart. After we check if it's appropriate for them to do it. And how do we check if it's appropriate? We'll go through with all the investigations, for example, if it's a blood pressure tablet, if the blood pressure is in the range to be given. Somebody is hypotensive, you're not going to give them antihypertensive medication. You're giving beta blockers for bradycardia, they're very low heart rate, you're not going to give them beta blockers or detoxin. Similarly, you check the urea electrolytes and the potassium is very high. A patient is taking spray electron for heart failure, potassium is 6. First thing you will stop is spray electron. Why? It causes the potassium sparing diuretic. It will increase your potassium further. So things like that, that, we need to double check while we're doing the clinical checking of the drug chart. And we sign the drug chart, is signing your, on your death warrant. This is why we call it postmortem of the drug chart. You have to think a thousand times before you sign on one drug. Especially you know, think about the culture of suing each other. So if you do one wrong signature, your profession is gone. Literally blink away, that's it, you're done. So you have to make sure that you don't do it wrong. Doctors rely on pharmacists so much, so much, they do so many things wrong. I've done a clinical audit when I was in a different hospital, North Cumbria University Hospital, where the intervention percentage was 21%, which means every fifth drug prescribed was wrong. It was this high. Okay? So we move on to the next one. To take the medicine, reconcile correctly, make sure to send them off. Again, same, same point I mentioned. Make sure you've checked everything and signed. To check if there's any new medicine you prescribe, yes, you mark them as new. So on the drug chart, if you see on the fourth page of possibly, this is taking on admission. The boxes, the big boxes. Taking on admission, yes, that means it's not a new medication. But then it says N, N for new. So if it's a new medication, then we need to check everything. Not only the interaction, but cautions, contraindications for the condition to strike for. Because the indication is one thing. The other thing is the comorbidities the patient is coming with. Because one drug is prescribed for one condition, it's not going to be appropriate for another patient. Because every patient is different. So you have to, even though you know everything about the drug itself, you still have to go through with the parameters of checking if it's appropriate for this patient, if the patient uh, for any contraindication, allergies, and side effect profile as well.